What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I'm back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 11 Pro and today we're back with a case from Native Union. This is going to be the leather case that they have available on the Apple Store. Expensive as it's really expensive. $59.99 is the price point. So that's to be one of the more steep prices you can get for an actual case. So we'll check it out to see if it's going to be a hit or miss and obviously if it's really comparable to the Apple one that I think is $49 which is a pretty legit case in itself. So let's go and check out the presentation. This is what you're going to get. There come be quite a few different color options like a multi-color case which I think looks really cool. I got the silver iPhone 11 Pro so I think that should kind of complement it very nicely this kind of design. Little branding up top you can see iPhone 11 Pro handcrafted, handcrafted Italian leather. And then the back seem to tell you all the goodies of how, you know, how really what you're getting for that price point, which you would expect. So presentation looks really, really clean. You got a little tab right here. Don't mind if we do. We'll bust it open. Let's check it out to see if it's a hit or miss. And then tells you a little more about the case itself and all that good stuff. So my first impression, super soft leather premium feel, which you would think and would expect for this price. Very reminiscent of the official Apple one and maybe a little bit smoother. Um, just a very premium feel to it. You got a little bit of branding right there. You can see the design quality right there. Just very unique design pattern. Appreciate that. Open bottom, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's very reminiscent of the official Apple leather case. So keep that in mind if you're comparing the two. Very, It feels very similar. In the interior, you got this very premium feel to it. Velvet-like finish super soft to the touch and that's on the very bottom and you can see a little branding right there crafted with genuine leather and then the bumper part itself is not this material it's actually going to be the leather that you're going to get from the outside bumper case itself and then a little more a little more branding right there so just nice design and that build quality feels very close to the actual official one from apple so very similar in terms of build quality so i'm not sure why that this one be ten dollars more if you're that's your direct competition but it is what it is so we'll check it out i do like the design though it's a very unique design let's get that silver out shine it up real nice look at that thing looking beautiful as day one wipe it down wipe it down make it look clean and beautiful for the camera shine the camera up that camera hump make it look clean beautiful look at that thing no fingerprints love the no fingerprints keep the mat going you know what i'm saying guys so we'll pop it into place like that very nice that is a crazy looking design i like this color scheme and then look how it does with the actual silver um camera hump so it just kind of transitions from that gray to orange to blue and it just looks really really clean i think and very impressive design right there i like what they did there a lot camera protection decent camera protection you can see it's raised up enough you got enough camera protection so i wouldn't have to worry about it too much nothing crazy but i wouldn't expect a lot this is just a very basic style case not going to give you they're kind of minimalist you're not going to get a lot of protection but nicely done um build quality excellent like i said grip that it's a little slippery if one first this leather material actually will in time it just kind of wears into the actual phone itself and it kind of gets becomes more grippy in time so that's what i've noticed in previous cases that i've done let's check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lizip let me wipe down the front real quick here shine it up real nice look at that lip protection you're not getting crazy lip protection at all i wouldn't say you're getting even a lot you're just getting a basic amount of screen protection i got a screen protector on there so i'm gotten full edge edge protection so i don't have to worry about it bottom part though is completely exposed so keep that in mind if you guys are rocking this one i'd be worried about dropping it with that very bottom but overall lip protection not that much volume up and down the buttons are actually stiff i'm not a huge fan of these buttons one thing that apple has done on their official cases is make the buttons clicky and responsive Whereas they used to have the same type of design where it just kind of carries over from this leather material. Very stiff. I'm not a huge fan of that at all. Very tough to the... So Apple, I think, actually switched the buttons to either metal buttons or plastic buttons. But they're super clicky. Alert slider, a little tough to get to, but no problems. Bottom parts exposed. Again, easy access, no issues there. But like the little branding with the Native Union. And then the same thing for the power button. Let me turn on the front real quick here. There you go. Give you guys a look at the front. Just a nicely designed case. Build quality is excellent. Awesome. 
very nice looking case i'd say this one is definitely a unique case it's going to set it apart from a lot of the other apple cases the official ones especially but the question goes would i recommend this one over the official one i say i say save your money get the official one because the buttons are better and it's just as nice in terms of overall quality now if you're looking for a unique design i would say go and check this out this is actually not going to be a miss for me i just can't say it's a hit for that price point so i'm going to call it a mini hit let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section hit or miss we're going to call it a mini hit hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys next time